Hi, this is a, a, a new series of hopefully very, very short videos, just each one outlining a simple tip or trick. So they're going to be quite narrowly focused. And this one is focused on depth maps and the tricks you can play with them. So here's the depth map. Uh, there's some, um, I did a video on control nets, so you'll see depth maps covered in more detail there. This is um, things you can do with depth map uh, that, that uh, people may not know. So here's the basic depth map that's been made, pretty simple. And here it is going through the control net. All the settings are pretty straightforward. It's not at absolute full strength or running the entire length. And, uh, and this, is, this is the output, which is uh, it's quite low res because I want them to do quickly. So it's a bit fried, but you can see that uh, it's stuck pretty close to the, pretty close to the brief. We've got a car, we've got everything really. So, one of the tricks you can play is to, and I'll demonstrate this in the top one, so I'll turn these off, is we can alter, if we look at this um, as it starts out. So a depth map, I'll very briefly go through what they are, the, the paler it is, the nearer it is, and it gives the, it gives the AI a, a, an idea of how things are placed in the scene from near to far. However, if you put a levels adjustment on it, uh, you can alter these tones. So if we reduce the white level, which means that stuff further away is become, going to become whiter, I'll do quite a bit so you can see the change. We'll do 150. I'll zoom in so you can see the change and you see what happens. If I do the same with the black, i.e. I'm squashing the blacks in the black background here. There you go. So that is probably too dramatic. <laughs> but uh, it shows what you can do. So if we back off from that a little bit, Maybe go to 30 or so on the black. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little up on that. There we go. And we'll generate that and uh, we'll see what happens. So, so here's that back and you can see the difference. And uh, you can see what it has done. It's the same seed exactly. So it hasn't uh, changed. It hasn't. This is the old original one. It hasn't changed the foreground a great deal because the, the bike and everything's shape are very fixed. However, if you see the, here, it's brought <laughs> the distance nearer, and that's the effect it has. So we've lost some of our street, and it's brought all of this stuff here closer. And you see, we still have this car. So in the middle, which hasn't really changed, everything is pretty much similar. But um, in the areas where it has changed, it um, it changes quite a lot. So so everything from here back has changed a great deal. So I'll do a couple more showing some extremes and uh, and that'll be it. So here we are, so, um, so here's our original uh, with all the settings left at zero and 255. Then we have moving them in. Uh, so we're going down from 255 and up from zero. So down from 255 in the white and up from zero on the black. And this one is just coming up on the black, leaving leaving the white at 255 and this is the opposite this is leaving the black on zero and taking the white down so you see four quite different images with the same seed and the same prompt and everything um, bringing the black forwards has an interesting and useful effect and you can see that the um, camera angle has the camera angle has changed we're on a wider lens here so um, the perspective is more forced and it's lowered the horizon and made the angle more dramatic on the, so so generally raising pulling the black in does tend to widen the camera view which is quite an interesting thing okay that's it thank you very much